from food, uh, fast food, to food that will propel you into space. Just earlier this year, the AXE Apollo Space Academy, with former astronaut Buzz Aldrin, launched an online contest. Their aim was to try and send a few lucky people, ordinary people, folks like you and me, to the edge of space and back on board a private space shuttle. The contest results are now in, and Anitza Soledad Perez has the story. The multinational corporation Unilever launched a product campaign for Axe Apollo, a men's grooming brand with an international contest that will send 23 customers to space. Over 1 million people applied, around 100 were chosen through social media to come to the Kennedy Space Center for the final competition. From pop artists to engineers to simply space lovers, contestants from all over the world endured zero-gravity training, G-force simulators, and even acrobatic maneuvers on board a light attack fighter aircraft. Before the winners were announced, we talked to one of the Chinese contestants. In two years, he traveled over 25 countries with only $30,000. I have traveled a lot of places, but I never uh, go to outer space. That is amazing, awesome. Buzz Aldrin, one of the first men on the moon, is a spokesperson for the campaign and the Axe Apollo Space Academy. He explained what the winners will experience in their space travel. I've flown jet airplanes with afterburner, and when you engage the afterburner, it's like when you light the rocket, you push the head, but even more so because it accelerates rapidly and then continues to accelerate and as it gets lighter the forces push you back in the seat our first winner and here are the winners the chinese traveler got himself a seat to space how do you feel exciting awesome amazing the brand reports that this will be the most expensive campaign for acts but did not want to say how much they've invested so far Axe spent $53.7 million on advertising in the United States in 2011, down from $92.7 million in 2010, according to the Cantor Media Unit of WPP. Space Academy. The 23 winners will still have to wait a few more years before they can actually go to space. The spacecraft is still being built and then test flights will begin. Well, but that would be enough time to get them prepared to watch the Earth from above. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CCTV, Kennedy Space Center, Florida.